it's Delaney and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought we could do a my favorites of the month of September. So let's go ahead and get started. So these are just some of the things that I have been absolutely loving this month and I will probably still be loving them next month. <laughs> Oh, and yes, I did get my hair dyed brown and I got some fun bangs. So, ooh, very fun. So, some of these are like, some of them are, some are makeup, some are drinks, some are books, videos, music, things like that. So, it's just kind of a plethora of things. So, first up, one of my favorites has been the Maybelline New York Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's beautiful. It is in the shade 009 Topaz. And I, is it gonna focus? <laughs> I have been loving it. It's a really gorgeous shade. And it kind of just like, kind of just mimics the natural color of my lips, but like better, you know? And I really like it. Next for makeup, I recently discovered milk makeup and needless to say, my life has changed. So the first product I got from milk makeup is their stick found, flex foundation stick in the shade light sand. And it just looks like that. Um, as you can see, I am nearly out. And I have just been loving this. It is so, like such good coverage. Like you just swipe it on a couple places, pat it with a, um, a sponge and you're good to go. And it is amazing. Then I also have really been loving their um, Milk Makeup Blur Liquid, little liquid foundation. It is so lovely. It's what I'm wearing right now. And it is such good coverage, very buildable, very blendable. And oh, it's and it's matte as well, which is very, very nice. And this is in the shade Fair. And then this is in the shade Light Sand. And I love these. I think I am a I'm I'm a I'm a big fan of milk makeup now. I love it. Then an eyeshadow palette that I have been wearing so much this month, kind of like gearing up for Halloween, I guess, has been the Tartlet Toasted Palette. I'm actually wearing it today. Very like fall autumnal colors. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, um, I've had mine for quite a while <laughs> and it looks a little messy, but I have been absolutely loving it and it is, one of my ride or die eyeshadow palettes. Plus the packaging is just like extremely cute. So like, how could you not want it? Then, um, oh, this is something I've been loving as well. It is a candle. It is a tender flame with wooden wick candle in the scent spiced pumpkin. And it smells so good. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's got a little like, wooden wick so when you light it it sounds like um a wood like a wood is burning like a fire and it is the coolest thing ever and i love to light it like before i go to bed and like read and just listen to it and smell the pumpkiny smells and it's great and along the lines of pumpkin i discovered this at tj maxx and I have been loving it. It is the Pumpkin Cinnamon Roll Skinny Syrups. As you can see, I've used a bit. I love it. And it, oh, it's so good. You just put it in your coffee. It smells really good too. You just put a little bit in your coffee and it gives it like a nice little kick of pumpkin cinnamon roll flavor. And it is wonderful. And oh, another thing, I'm actually, drinking from it is this coffee mug I got from Hobby Lobby and it says morning pumpkin and it is just my favorite and I actually have some pumpkin spice um, coffee in here and it is delicious so let's take a little coffee break 
Mm. So good. Okay. Then another thing that I've been loving. So a little backstory. I recently found out that I am pre-diabetic thanks to genetics and all that good stuff. So because of that, I've kind of had to like change my diet and switch to like try to go as sugar free and as carb free as I can. And on that journey, I have discovered Hershey's sugar free little chocolate bars. They are the best. They taste exactly like normal Hershey bars, except they're sugar free and they are so good. And I actually discovered um, Reese Cups sugar free, which are just as good, but um, I ate all those. So I, I don't have any to show you, but <laughs> they're really good. And these are really good too. Love it. Next is movies. So kind of like gearing up towards Halloween. I've been really loving like you know, like the little Halloween movies, kind of spooky, like the cult classics, you know. And by cult classic, obviously, I mean Hocus Pocus. Like, it cannot get any better than Hocus Pocus. And if any of you know me, you know Hocus Pocus is like one of my favorite movies in the whole entire world. So honestly, I watch this year around, not just at Halloween or near Halloween, but I just... I love it so much. And speaking of Hocus Pocus, I actually was able to snag some of the Hocus Pocus and ColourPop collection products and they should be here in a couple days. So be looking for a video about that. But I also really love Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Such a good movie. And with these DVDs, it kind of sucks because I don't have a DVD player. I just have a laptop. So whenever I want to watch a movie, I have to like break out the laptop, but it's fine, but love it. And then another one I have been loving and reminiscing on one of my favorites from when I was a kid. Well, not really a kid, but like early teenager, Pride and Prejudice. Oh, mm. leave a comment down below if this movie changed you and shaped the way you view the world and men and give me a like if you get flustered by the hand clench scene that that gives me feelings man Ooh. but yes love this movie and Kira Knightley is she's beautiful like if I could look like her my life would be set it'd be great and the last things we have are, well, not the last things, but some of the last things we have are two books that I have been loving. The first one is Red Riding Hood by, who is it by? By, oh, that's so weird. It doesn't say. Okay, I'm very confused. It doesn't say, it just says there's a, an introduction by Katherine Hardwick, which, you know, she did Twilight and stuff. And she was like the director for Twilight, I think. Where is... Okay, written by Sarah Blakely Cartwright. Based on a screenplay written by David Leslie Johnson. Introduction by Katherine Hardwick. It is so good. It's like, you know the movie Red Riding Hood that came out a couple years ago that had Amanda C... C how do you pronounce her name? Seyfried? Siegfried? I don't know how to pronounce her name, but you know that movie. Um, this is the book that's based on that movie. It is really, really good. And it's like perfect for this kind of like Halloween season that we're going into, um, especially perfect for me because me and my boyfriend are going as, like for Halloween, we're going as Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. So that'll be fun. So I thought it was very appropriate to read. <laughs> and then a book that I just purchased at Target, which I'm really liking, it's called A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. 
Oh, Deborah Harkness. Um, it's really good. I'm only on like the first couple chapters so far, but I'm really liking it a lot and I highly recommend it. And I think that it's, there's a TV show based on this book, I think, but I'm really liking it. And oh, the last thing, well, there's two last things, they're clothing items. It's these leggings. They are super comfy, just little like leopard print leggings from Target, and I have been loving them. They're so comfy, so cute. You can dress them up, dress them down, like how I have it today with just like a crop sweatshirt, which coincidentally is also from Target. What can I say? I love Target. <laughs> But yeah, it's super comfy, love them. And the last item, this is gonna make me seem like a total like grandma, but that's fine. I dig the grandma vibes. House slippers. Anyone who knows me knows that I like, I feel weird like walking around my house barefoot and like just socks or something. Like it's just, I don't like it, it's weird to me. So house slippers are my favorite. I usually get about two pairs a year and these are my second pair of the year. And like, they're just so fuzzy, so cute. They got little pom-poms and they have like a little bit of like foam on the inside. And they have like a hard bottom and they are so stinking cute, so comfy. Perfect for the cooler weather for when my toes get a little cold and yeah I love them so yeah that, that's my favorites of the month probably not very exciting um oh oh I almost forgot I have a music the music I have a song that makes more sense English Delaney I have a song that I have been listening to a lot it is from Machine Gun Kelly and it is, oh gosh, what is it called? Oh my goodness. It has just left my mind. Don't you hate it when that happens? Okay, give me one second, I'm gonna think, I'm gonna think of it, hang on. <laughs> I remembered it. Okay, it's Machine Gun Kelly and it is called Bloody Valentine and it is so good. I highly recommend it. The music video is really cool too. It has Megan Fox in it and it is, she's gorgeous. Like, she's just so beautiful. And the song is just so, so, so good. I love it. So yeah, that has been my September favorites and I hope that you enjoyed the video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you like any of these things and give me book recommendations, please, because I'm an avid reader and I am always wanting book recommendations. So if you have any, leave a comment down below and let me know. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.